Hello everyone, the Jayhawks made it to San Antonio and held the team's first practice this afternoon at the Alamo Dome. The Sweet 16 matchup between Kansas and Richmond is tomorrow night. For more on that contest, 27 Sports Director Johnny Kane joins us now from San Antonio with a very special guest. All right, guys, we're here courtside at the Alamo Dome. What a privilege to be joined by Bob Davis, the voice of the Hawks. Bob, last time I was here was 2008. Have you been here since? Not been to San Antonio since then, but we had a good time, didn't we? We'll see how it works out this time. Uh, you need a couple of victories to get back to the Final Four, but it, it, it does create a few memories being in this building. Certainly a lot of people are drawing some parallels from the 08 year. You lose at Bramwich Coliseum to K-State, and then you get a couple of double-digit seeds here in the regional. Can you really draw comparisons with only three carryovers from that team, or is that just more looking for storylines? Well, it's probably storylines, but you think back to 08, I don't know what seed they were, maybe a tenth, but Davidson was awfully good and arguably had the best player in the tournament that year. So hopefully these teams here aren't that good because that was went down to the final shot, but they are good. Richmond's good, VCU's good, Florida State's a good team out of the ACC. So whoever emerges from this region you know, could be a factor uh, you know, the following week in Houston. I think Coach Self validated it by winning the OA championship. Mm -hmm. They talk about some of the early round exits, and it, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of problems with the high seeds or the low seeds as you were, but more of the high seeds, the double-digit seeds. Is that just a matter of getting guys focused early on against those type teams, or once we get to this point, you kind of say, hey, listen, there's 16 of us left. Yeah, everybody that's here is good in their own right. And You look at the Richmond team. they got a great 6'10 player. we have got an outstanding point guard. That's a great place to start. And they have a lot of legitimate wins over BCS schools during the year. So it's, as Bill says, it's about matchups, not about seeding. Larry Brown always said, once that bracket's out, scratch out that little number. Just say, do we wear white or do we wear our road uniforms and, and go play? Because the seating really has nothing to do with it now. All right, very good. Bob, good All luck right, on the call tomorrow. Thank you. All right, reporting here courtside at the Alamo Dome, Johnny Kane, 27 Sports.